Hi there, Release Fire here. So I've uh, I've started to get into Minecraft a little bit. As you can see, it's it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. But I kind of figured with my first ever Minecraft video, I should do something that's pretty impressive. And what I was trying to do is to build the tallest elevator ever. And as you can see, it all just went to the dogs. It didn't work. Uh, however, I'm going to make it work. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to ditch all of this. You can see I've tried mechanisms and a uh, water lift. And I think a water lift is definitely the way to go. But if you want to get all the way to the top, that's 256 blocks up, then, uh, then you need to be pretty accurate. And I'm going to try and pull that off now and kind of show you what to do. It's going to be a one-way lift. It's going to take me all the way up to the top of what will be a giant skyscraper eventually. My plan is to build a giant glassy skyscraper of brilliance and uh, and yeah, and have a lift that'll take me all the way up to the top and then to begin with, I'll just be able to just jump off and, uh, and that'll bring me back down to the bottom but eventually I will work out a mechanism to allow me to go up and down and to come off at different floors but this is just video one Okay, so to start with, obviously need to get rid of this level and start a new one. So let's let's save and quit and yeah, I'll start it off in a new world. Okay, I've got my nice flat world. <laughs> a few things running around. Actually, I don't want anything running around. Let's let's get rid of those dudes. Oh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't doesn't have any real impact whatsoever. Okay, so the things that I want, I want some soul sand. Okay, so let's put that in. So essentially I'm going to fill up the things that I want and I'm going to talk you through them, but soul sand is the first of them. And then once I've got everything in my inventory, I will talk you through it. Okay, so I think that's it. So I've got soul sand, some glass, a warped door, a water bucket, and a bucket. And I think with all of those things, I've got everything that I need. So. I'm going to start off with a little bit of soul sand. Just uh, put it anywhere. I kind of you don't want it on the ground actually. You want it just below. So just place it just down here. Soul sand in, and then here's where the craziness starts of building it up. But the general gist is, I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to go all the way up to the very top. And it tops out at 256. So essentially I'm just placing one and then flying up. And that will just drop them all out. Now obviously I'm not going to put you through the excruciation of watching me do this all the way through. Apart from this one. And then I'm just going to show you what it all looks like once I've got all these things in place. And then there's a slight trick for a water elevator that you need to be aware of. So there we go, it's topped out at 256 blocks. Now the good news is I don't have to slowly go down to the floor. Once I get to the top, I can just double tap on jump and it takes me down pretty quickly. So that's why an up elevator is more important than a down elevator. So then I've got my soul sand here and this is gonna create the bubbles that'll take me up through the water. So now I need a little bit more of uh, a space around here and then I'll need a door at the front to stop the water so I will pick you back up when I've got that all in place. Okay so there you go so you can see it's like a three by three with a central space down the middle which is where the water is going to go and then I'm probably going to fill up this line here down the middle on the outer edge but put a door at the bottom. If I can put doors all the way up, then I will do, but I think it's kind of going to be too time consuming. I'll give it a go now. Just get down to earth a little bit quicker. Just double tap on jump. So if I could put a door in here all the way, I don't think I can because it's a double block. I think you'd have to do it individually. So I don't think it's going to be a possibility. Can I put a door in here? Hmm. Nah, doesn't look like it. So, but the point is, I've got the door at the bottom. That's the important thing. And I could put in the outer strip of glass all the way up to the top. But the more important thing is getting this right. 
and this is essentially where you put water and the water and the sole sand only works if you have a water source in every block all the way up to the top of your elevator so you can't just put water at the top and hope for the best what you actually want to do is put it in everywhere and take it all the way up to the top now it's kind of difficult to do that with it completely encased so I'm gonna try to do it where I just go all the way up to the top and that didn't work oh that's frustrating but you can see the bubbles, the bubbles are working. So let's see if I can try that again. I think it's because, yes, okay. So you need to target the, the block at the back here and I think this is going to work. Now I've got it. But you can see it's, it's kind of spilling out everywhere. That's okay because I'm hoping that if I get it right, I should be able to get a block in on the end above the door and then just trail it all the way up to seal it off super quickly. I don't know if it's going to work. It might be a little bit time consuming in the end, but I'm hoping that this is gonna be an easy process and not something that's just gonna take ages and ages and ages. Okay, there we go. Topped out. And you can see there's bubbles all the way through because I've been able to drop water sources all the way down. Is that is that a break? I oh, know it is, there's bubbles all the way down, okay. So the way to test this is to get in. Now it's not so easy to get in with the water coming at you, but... Oh! <laughs> my guy ran... My guy just fell over. But you can see, there we go, the lift is working. I'm not pressing anything, I was on the ground. Hopefully this is going to take me all the way up to the top. Dun 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 Okay, let's fast forward, skip ahead. So yeah, there you go. It got me all the way up to the top in one go. So that's all working now. The challenging bit of getting in the block and streaming it all the way up in one without causing major drama. So I'm just going to take to the air. And what I want is to be just above this water. And I'm hoping I can get this right. <laughs> Come on, work! Just got to get the angles just right. Okay, so... I just want to make sure it's in the right space. I got it, I got it, I got it, I landed it! So hopefully this will take me all the way up to the top now completely seal off the front edge and then the elevator, the water elevator will take me as high as you can possibly go, 256 blocks without, you know, obviously you've built each one, but it's not been place a block, move on, place a block, move on. I've been able to like stream it up in a really quick way to create something really <laughs> high up and something that I can get up to the top of relatively quickly. Now in later videos, I'm going to kind of try to make it so that I can come out on different floors and build a giant skyscraper, but I just wanted to test the principles of this and to show you how I did it as I was going. But I think that's all the water locked in. It should take me all the way up to the top. Here we go, here's the test. This is the test of does this work? Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to fast forward through it, but you should be able to see it all the way up to the top. Here we go. I'm skimming, I'm skimming. <laughs> Back of the head. Wish I could see better. Maybe I can look up. Oh, looking up's better. Nice. So I think this will take me all the way up to the very top. It looks positive. And there we go. That is officially because you can't build any higher not without any mods i don't think anyway that is officially the tallest elevator ever in uh, in minecraft and if it's not officially the tallest ever elevator in minecraft let me know in the comments below and uh, i'll happily apologize to some genius that's made it even bigger so long as it's not using mods so the next plan the next plan i need to be able to come out on different floors Lots to do, so I'll be able to uh, pick that up when I work it all out and I'll show you how 
I get on with that in the next video. Hopefully this has been at least some help uh, or entertainment or whatever, but I think that's pretty cool. I've got the biggest elevator ever. For my first ever significant build on Minecraft, I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see it's actually quicker to get down to the floor by just jumping. So I know that I can do like a bit of a fancy switch thing with the thing at the bottom to change it to magma, which will make the bubbles to go down. But realistically, probably the best thing to do would just be to create another shaft here uh, with the down where I can just sort of jump out. And then who knows, maybe I'll try to do some elaborate switching thing that allows me to kick out of different floors. I don't know, but that's it. Job done. Biggest elevator ever. Drop me a like below if, uh, if that helps you out in any way, shape or form. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide. Oh, wait a minute. This is my only video. <laughs> okay, when I do eventually have more videos, you'll be able to check out more of my guides. Probably not the best term, but hey, my stuff. My stuff on Minecraft uh, will be there. Uh, Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.